Hello and welcome back to the final session, the second session of the day here live from Manama Bahrain at the Asian Championships 2022. We have the highly anticipated men's 81 kilo category. I'm joined, of course, by the Max Ata, founder of Weightlifting AI, uh, squatting extraordinaire. Uh, Max, how are you feeling for this session? We've got a lot of uh, a lot of big names here. I'm very excited. This has been kind of the session I've been waiting for most of this competition. Very excited to see uh, this newcomer Chinese lifter uh, snatch specialist. Yeah. yeah he's uh, a bit of a snatch specialist, Lu De Lin. Lu De Lin, yeah. But uh, overall, this is going to be a really good session. Yeah. So here we have Tosh Demirov from Uzbekistan. Uh, definitely one of the athletes we need to watch out for. Honestly, I think that Tosh Demirov from Uzbekistan could actually be a potential shout for the gold medal here. He's very consistent. We know he can snatch over 160 kilos. He can clean and jerk over 190 kilos. He's uh, definitely going to be up there as one of these top lifters. We have another Uzbekistan lifter. That last one we just saw there. I don't know a huge amount about this guy. Ogabek. He uh, internationally, he's only ever snatched 136 kilos, but he's put in a pretty enormous 330 kilo entry total. So certainly possible that we're going to see personal best from him. But I think, Max, the man that a lot of people are tuning in for here in the red as he just walks off the platform now is Lou De Lin, a man who has never been on the international platform before, but whose ridiculous snatching prowess has been all over the internet, taken the weightlifting world by storm. He's been snatching world records for several years, sometimes as much as more than 15 kilos over a world record in some sort of variation of the lift. Yeah. It is Lou De Lin, uh, the Chinese 81, who finally gets to make his international debut now. Yeah. It'll be very exciting to see what uh, what that yields on the platform, some of those big variations we've seen him do. As much as 190 kilos off the blocks, which is... Uh, it's just ridiculous. It's remarkable. It? It's unbelievable. It's uh, pretty much equal to the most he's ever clean and jerked. He did make 200 kilos in training. I do believe at, uh, at national championships within China, the most he's ever clean and jerked is around 193 kilos. So that hang snatches or block snatch, pretty remarkable there. He snatched 173 kilos at Chinese Nationals in 2021. He beat Lu Zhao in the snatch portion. He snatched as much as 180 kilos in competition in China, five kilos over the current world record, which we should take a look at now. Max, just like in the men's 67s, three separate world record holders in this category. The snatch, Li Dayin of China, Benajuk, Carlos Nassar, Bulgaria, and the total, of course, probably untouchable for the next few years. Lu Zhao Jun. We have 175 snatch, 208 clean and jerk, 378 kilos in the clean and jerk. This is a category that has a huge sort of shadow over it. Lu Zhao Jun has dominated it since its inauguration, having moved up from the 77s. He's now heading down to the 73s. So the officials get their moment in the spotlight. Devastated to see that Zukra Abdullayeva is not going to be officiating this session. One of the crowd favorites. Certainly one of mine. Also in this session, we have a man who we know can dominate a category. We have the 73 kilo world champion, the reigning world champion, Rahma Owen Abdullah from Indonesia. He's bumped up to this category, uh, having essentially been replaced, I suppose, by Rizki Jinasir, who unfortunately bombed out yesterday's competition. Rahma, right. not in, well, he got, I think he recently told us that he suffered a back injury. So he's put in a slightly lower entry total here at 320 kilos. His training over the last week in the training hall has been a little bit bizarre. He's not done a huge amount until yesterday, where he finally started actually lifting something surprisingly heavy uh, just out of, day out of competition. He snatched 130 kilos, he did a snatch pull plus snatch. He did some snatch pulls at, I think it was 180 80 kilos, front squat doubles, 
at 185 kilos. So almost always sort of testing out the waters a little bit, just feeling how his back is the day before competition. Yeah. Just so he has a little bit more uh, confidence going into this mate. We've seen a lot of really, uh, I would say, almost unorthodox sort of training hall training going on. Right. There's just so little classic snatch and clean and jerk, kind of heavy last attempts, maybe last warm-ups, openers. Uh, that you typically see at like World Championships or yep. Europeans, Pan Ams. So this has been interesting to see. Uh, interesting too. We'll see how that kind of plays out for everybody because uh, we've seen some some very just very different kinds of training. A lot of heavy pulling, a lot of variations of pulling from every team, uh, and then some some athletes doing seemingly things that are not weightlifting, uh, squatting <laughs> only, uh, pressing. Uh, very heavy side bends. 55 kilo <laughs> side bends, which I've now seen three times uh, from Les Mopredas. So there we see Lude Lin on the left. We can see the weightlifting house GoPro just in front of his platform to the <laughs> left, which is, will be capturing absolutely everything from uh, this guy's warm up. Uh, he, there's Rahmat right there, the 73 kilo world champion. Uh, Lude Lin, Max, you mentioned that training has been bizarre leading up to this for several athletes. Lude Lin uh, certainly been one of those athletes. He has done maybe one, at most two exercises per training session. The first day he turned up, he'd been on the same flight as you. Yeah. He then got to the gym five hours after landing, snatched up to 150 kilos. Then he got kicked out of the training hall because right. he was, you know, trying wasn't supposed to be there. He walked out. Ten minutes later, he walked back in, worked all the way back up to 150 kilos again in yes. a snatch. Uh, maybe did, you know, a single strict press at 70 and then left. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of training he's been doing. Yeah. Yesterday, he went the heaviest, which is very bizarre for an athlete to do. Again, he snatched up to 150 kilos, and he made it look significantly better yeah, much than stronger. the 150 he did when he got off the flight. He then clean and jerked 170 kilos and... Pull did the day. Yeah. And then one of the days in there, he just did clean pulls. Yep, 230 uh, kilos. So. And the speed that he works up to these weights is remarkable. In the snatch, his general progression is 60, 90, 120, and then uh, either 140 or 150, depending on what he feels like. But it's yeah. blue, yellow, yellow, sometimes yellow again, yeah, sometimes just green. Very, very short sessions, very little volume. Yep. In the cleaner jerk, he did... Uh, 70, 100, 140, 170 yesterday. Not a lot of practice in the snatch and clean and jerk from Lou, just heavy-ish attempts. Yeah, we've seen some other lifters doing some extremely heavy training. Uh, we saw a few lifters basically going to absolute maximum on a few exercises, yeah. squats and, and pulling movements and, and such, so definitely different than what we're used to seeing in the training hall. Here we have Turayev from Turkmenistan. We saw him snatch up to around the 140 kilo mark the other day. Here's 130 kilos. Let's see how this looks. Oh, there it is on the right of our screen. Yep, that looks fine. Easy. No problems there. As expected, Lude Lun is not going to be touching the bar, or at least he might touch the bar. He's certainly not going to be touching any weights for a while. He's a lot of fun in the training hall. He. Uh, often likes to turn and wave at the camera when we're filming him. In fact, yesterday, we turned the camera to him. He lifted up his top, and then he pulled down all the fat covering his abs so that his abs were then visible, yeah. and then he tensed as hard as he could. I didn't realize that was a trick that worked, so I practiced that a little <laughs> bit afterward. Yeah, it does work. I, I had to pull quite a bit harder and further than I think he did to yeah, reveal. Yeah, I'm not sure we can <laughs> reveal those abs. <laughs> Well, every good tool needs a shed. <laughs> yeah, I think to reveal those abs, we're going to need a nice nutrition program, <laughs> training program <laughs> in about six months. Here's our athlete from Taipei. It's Shang Min Chuang. Most we've ever seen from him, 145 kilos in the snatch. He's put in 145 kilos for his opening attempt. And clearly, Max, I think uh, Rafmat, the world champion in the, six, in the 73s, Probably his injury is showing. He's got an extremely light opener in there at 131 kilos. An interesting number to have chosen. Yeah. But 
Well, potentially he wants to jump to 36 or 37 without too big of an increase. Right. Now here we have uh, Mukhamkadir Toshderimov from Uzbekistan getting in those, uh, whatever they're called, reverse rear delt raises. They, they may one day be called uh, <laughs> Toshdemirov rows <laughs> or flies. I, you say that. I actually call them Lee raises because Lee, raises. Lee Dayan does them. Ah. We've got Lou raises. Those are Lee raises. And I've actually seen a, a lot of athletes doing Lee raises at this championship. Interesting. Yeah. There we have our Kazakh coach. He's going to be coaching... Uh, Renat at his first international competition. Two athletes here who've never actually competed internationally. One of them, Renat, Kazakhstan. The other, Ludilin of China. We've got just under a minute now until the competition gets underway. There's 130 kilos on the bar. Easy looking lift. That's uh, second of two Uzbek lifters. He's being helped out and back there by the most recent Asian champion in the 67 kilo category, Edkam John Ergashev, who won his gold medal a couple of days ago. And that man right there in the red trousers is the father of Rahmat. He's also one of the coaches I got to work out with a few days ago. He's the kind of coach who we sort of watched him the other day. All the exercises that he did were without a barbell. Uh, and then finally picked up the barbell for the bicep curls. So clearly it does have a purpose in his life. Okay, so, you know, I thought this was going to happen, Max. I just had this feeling that Rahmat was going to bump up by about 10 kilos yeah. just to try and screw with a couple of people. Uh, he has his bump from 131 to 141. So all of a sudden, Ogabek, who we just saw about 30 seconds ago, snatch 130 kilos, is going to have to run out onto the platform for this 135 kilos. He's, He's now bumped up because he wanted the rest, so it's going to go back to, uh, well, to Ryev. Max, I'd love to see if you can pronounce his last name. It's a... Gagesis? Gagesis? Yeah. Yeah. We'll call him to Ryev from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the athlete from Turkmenistan. We saw him snatch 140 kilos in training pretty recently, two or three days ago. Very fast lifter. The Turkmenistan lifters here have been lightning under the barbell. Yeah, all very, very solid snatchers. Yeah, that is a beautiful lift. Yeah, really quick. He's going to go to the automatic increase of 137, but I imagine he'll probably take more than that, probably over 138 to try and get a little bit more rest and bring out Ogabev. Yeah, 140 kilos, so Ogobek's going to come out now at 138. This is uh, a relatively inexperienced international weightlifter. He has lifted before. He made 136 kilos last year. One of the less experienced Uzbek lifters. Uzbekistan certainly having its moment in the spotlight as a bit of a weightlifting powerhouse at the moment. Ooh. Pretty strong pull. Yeah. Kind of came down a little bit. Could just be a little bit of timing and nerves to that opener lift. Yeah, that barbell not far above his head when he catches it. Short arms, he has a pretty wide grip. A little bit of a bend in the elbows. It's just the way he's built. So the world record snatch in this category has been contested a fair amount. 
I think it first went to Lu Jun at 172 for all of one minute before uh, Mohamed Ihab of Egypt made 173 kilos. Lu Jun then reclaimed it with 174 kilos at the last Asian Championships. Again, for just a moment before Li Dayin took it back at 175 kilos. So Lu has held the record in this category twice, but I'm not sure during any of those times it was even updated on Wikipedia before it was then stripped from him. He does, however, hold the total world record, 378 kilos. And he had the clean and jerk record at 206, 207, sorry, before Carlos Nassar made 208 kilos at the World Championships last year. He's now moved up to that 89 kilo category, so no battle will we ever see again between Carlos and Lou. That's a pretty nice opener yep. for Reyna of Kazakhstan. Ample strength on that. Yep. Pulled that pretty high. So Reyna Bokardikov is here for his international debut. Put in 330 kilos for his entry total. It's a nice 140. So here we have Turayev coming out for his second attempt. That 136 opener was extremely fast. As we come to expect from these athletes of Turkmenistan this championships. He did hop back a little bit. If he can bring the bar with him, it should be fine here. Back to the last session, we saw the lifter from Turkmenistan take the silver medal. She had remarkably uh, impressive technique. A little bit unorthodox, but she made it work. Didn't quite pull properly on that one. He obviously cut the pull a little bit, tried to sneak under. That first one was so strong, he hopped back. I wonder if he maybe adjusted too much, overcompensated here, and didn't give it enough. So I wonder if he's going to take that again, or if he's going to move up. There are a couple of other athletes at 141 kilos, so he might be able to buy a bit more time if he wants to by jumping up. We have Rahmat Owen Abdullah of Indonesia. He's put in 141 for his opener, but he also jumped up 10 kilos, so I wouldn't necessarily trust him to take this. We also have Ogobek of Uzbekistan. He's got 141 written in for his second attempt. Luda Linmax has put in 165 kilos wow. for his opening attempt, which is about 15 kilos more than he made in training at any point during this last week, but you really haven't seen him attempt anything over 150. I will say, like the rest of the Chinese lifters before him, they have all put in large opening lifts yeah. and then removed them, lowered them by a significant amount. Last session we saw uh, 108 entered as an opening snatch, yeah. and that was dropped to 100 for the actual lift. Yeah. So here comes Raph Matt. He, uh, does a fair amount of bodybuilding, this lad. You see him after every training session, he does curls, his trick presses, tricep extensions. In fact, when he became world champion in uh, Uzbekistan last year, he stood in front of the bar. He did a sort of like a double bicep. He did a most muscular. <laughs> that was a very strong wow. snatch. Yeah, well, remember, I mean, Rafmat is lifting less than he knows he's able to. He's suffering a bit of a back injury. So he's taking things a little bit lighter today. He snatched 155 kilos as a 73, so now as an 81, 141. Yeah. piece of cake for him. But Not challenging at all. He doesn't want to get hurt. Most important thing is that he's fit and healthy for the World Championships in December. One kilos now for I'll go back. Second attempt. Points to his elbows. Now those are Amelia's that he's lifting in. Pretty coveted pair of shoes these days. Whoa. Good snatch. He landed. Yeah. A little bit odd there. Knees kind of dove forward and then pushed him back. Yeah, nice little correction. 
Those sorts of corrections, the athlete's not consciously making any of these decisions. They're just, they're athletic. They've been in these sorts of positions a bunch of times. Their body just does what it does. Sometimes I think these athletes probably stand up and think, how on earth did I do that? <laughs> or maybe totally unaware it happened at all. Right. Yeah, perhaps not. So that 141 was a five kilo personal best for Elgebeck. And now we're going to see Turayev come out. His final attempt, he made 136 in his opener. He missed 140, he's jumped up two kilos. A risky move for his last attempt. That 140 didn't look particularly light for him. Yeah, he's going to have to be aggressive at the end of the pull here. He really cut the last one. Wow. Much better. Much better. What an incredible lift. Everything about that was pretty perfect. There was some really nice rhythm on that pull. Accelerated nicely, very fast, and caught that bar about as low as he could get away with. No wobble in the catch. And that's 142. That's seven kilos up on his previous best. Three athletes still yet to open. We have Trang Sheng Min at 145. You might see him come out now. Tosteramov of Uzbekistan at 150. And then Lude Lin still has 165 kilos uh, put on the scoreboard. Most likely he will come down from that to try and secure the gold in the snatch in his opener, of plenty, as plenty of these Chinese athletes have done. Now, we've not seen a huge amount from this athlete. He has made 145 kilos in competition before. He did that at the World Championships back in 2019, so it's been just over three years since we've seen him compete internationally. Very fast. Yeah. Movement. Almost looked like he shorted the pull a little bit though, mm -hmm. uh, even though it was really strong. So imagine that's again, you know, opening attempt. Shorted the pull, have you been reading the Economic Times recently? <laughs> he didn't feel confident about the market. <laughs> Big opener though, that yes. ties his international best. So assuming he's got quite a bit more planned. Here's Rena from Kazakhstan. So, Rena told us that his best snatch in training and the build up to this was a double at 140 kilos. So, right now he surpasses that lift. With this 145 single, you'd assume that a double at 140 would translate to a single here. Oh. Oh. He's got the strength for it, just rocked back. Yeah, fell back under his heels and dropped his hips under a little too much. He opened at that weight that he was able to double, 140 kilos. Probably come back and make that if he uh, makes the required corrections. So, Ungebeck is going to come out. Final attempt. A four kilo jump now. This will be a nine kilo personal best for the young Uzbek. He competed last May at the Junior World Championships, where he snatched 136 kilos. So, this is some pretty steep progress. Oh, wow. Yeah. He made that same correction yeah. that he did on the second attempt, Max. Very solid, though. Yeah, he actually looks like he has a little bit more in the pull there. 
That's fantastic lifting. That is three for three in the snatch there for Ogerbeck. 138, 141, 145. So we're going to see. What are we going to see now? Reynaud's going to come out and try and retake this. 145. Kazakh Lifter also told us that he made a 180 kilo clean and two jerks in training, which is good to hear. He said to us he's been focusing on a lot of jerks lately because they don't tend to work out for him. <laughs> Not a bad strategy. You do a little bit more training on your weaknesses. Yeah. You and me both, right now. <laughs> 146. Yep, six kilos more than he's made in training recently. Close on that clock. Wow. Nice adjustment. Perfect with two seconds on the clock left. Yeah. We all got a little bit nervous there. But again, just like with uh, Hogerbeck, a similar lift to the second attempt, but he made a better correction. The bar did rock back. He gets back into his heels, gets his center of gravity back behind the bar, moves it back forward over the center of his foot, comes back under it and up. So, Chang Cheng Min, I think we'll come out now at 150. This is five kilos more than he made back in 2019, the last time we even saw him on an international platform. Yeah, this is a very big attempt for him. Still, we have two athletes to come out. A lot of makes in this session so far, and two misses. Very fast, really locks that back in as he extends the back before he starts to pull, gets a huge amount of tension in the body. Yeah, looks like he just barely cuts the end of the pull there. Jumps, just doesn't quite have it. Lands a little bit forward for him. Yeah. And although he has an incredible lockout, great footwork, he's very fast there. The bar's a little forward, he just can't stabilize. So 150 will remain on the bar for him. Interestingly, Max uh, Rahmat Owen Abdullah, he bumped his original opener from 131 to 141. Now bumped his second attempt to 151, so another 10 kilo jump there. Uh, if he's able to do anything like he did in his opener, that's going to be a pretty comfortable lift for him, you'd imagine. Maybe he'll go 161 afterwards, who knows? That Sometimes it's those competitions where you don't put a lot of pressure on yourself that you actually end up doing pretty, in pretty incredible things. Yeah, that's very true. Especially considering he's dealing with a little bit of an injury. Yeah, his snatch balls at 180 kilos yesterday looked pretty good. Certainly a lot of speed on them. So Chuang Shengmin is going to come out and retake this 150. He's not going to go up and try and buy any time. I have to say, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about Lu De Lin. He's put in 190 as well, which is way up as one of his best competition, clean and jerks. Surely both of these numbers are going to have to come down. Much better, yeah. much better attempt there. He was just patient enough to finish that pull properly and get it right in the perfect spot overhead. 
Yeah, fantastic stuff there. That's going to be the lead so far in the snatch. Four kilos above anyone else. I think right about now is generally the time we're seeing, uh, we'd expect to maybe see Lou uh, Dalen drop that opener down if he is going to. Probably going to wait till these next snatches happen, see what yep. he really needs to take to probably secure that first place in the snatch. Yeah, he might be keeping an eye on Tosh Daramov from Uzbekistan just to see what he's capable of. Tosh Daramov competed uh, at the World Championships last year. He snatched 157 kilos there, so this 154 kilo opener is pretty big for him, although he did make that 157 on his opener. He attempted over 160 kilos twice. He also cleaned it up 192 kilos, so we know that he's got strength in both lifts. Lude Lin, on the other hand, a little bit more of a snatch specialist. Lude Lin did mention to us, though, Max, that he was dealing with quite a few injuries in training recently, so I don't think he's in quite his best shape here, but we will have to wait and see. Here's 151 for Rahmat. A 10 kilo quite jump smooth. from his opener. Very smooth. Yeah. What do you think, 61 on his third? <laughs> I think he may play a little more conservatively yeah. than that, looking for a gold there, because this 51, if that's all he makes, Tashermov's going 154. I could see him maybe going for 55, 56. Yeah. A kilo over whatever Tashermov makes for his opener. Tashermov is uh, an impressively fast athlete under the bar, particularly in the snatch. So changes are going in. You can see on the scoreboard there that two athletes still have an open, Ludo Lin. And, uh, Looks like uh, I think he's pulling out. Yeah. Rahmat is pulling out from the snatch, probably going to pass yep. his back, might be bothering him. We knew he had an issue with his back, so two lifts there. Do you know what he did, Max? He just made sure that he got a medal in the snatch. Yep. He's guaranteed the bronze. I wonder if he'll do something similar in the clean and jerk. Somewhat of a power move to do as an injured athlete. Just turn up and sneak a medal, decline your last attempt. Yeah, certainly maybe not the most exciting call, but probably the smartest for sure. Yeah. Here comes Tosh Demirov. This is not the heaviest we've ever seen him open at. As we mentioned before, he's done... 157 kilos at the World Championships. He snatched over 160 kilos uh, at four sec uh, consecutive competitions up until that last World Championships where he didn't quite make it. And that's Solid. a very strong pull, yeah. very strong catch. Easily. Seasoned professional. Easily putting himself in position for the goal the snatch now. Yeah. He used to be a 73 kilo athlete back at the 2018 World Championships. His first international was the Youth Worlds in 2017. He won the 2017 Asian Youth Championships as a 69 kilo athlete. 126 snatch there, 144 kilo clean and jerk. So he's come a long way. He then came second at the Youth Olympic Games in 2018 as a 77. He snatched 140 kilos and now he's up with a personal best in competition of 161 kilos. You can find him on Instagram if you can spell it at uh, Muhammad Kadir underscore 81. But I'll leave that one for you guys to try out. It's spelled slightly differently to the way his name is spelled in the IWF handbook. So good luck, uh, <laughs> good luck finding him. Tash Dermo moved to 158, but we see nothing yet from the Chinese. Yeah. A bit surprising. There he is now on our screen. He's glancing up at the scoreboard. We're going to be able to see exactly what happened in the training hall with him. Because, in fact, we can see him in the background there. 120 max on the bar. I told you he walks up quick. He likes to go 120, wow. 140. And then, uh, well, we just, from outside of our headphones, we could hear the barbell dropped. It dropped at just the right rate. So it's we know that he made the 120. A remarkable 
warm up to, to be taking that number right now when there may be almost no time before his lift. I mean, at this point, Tostermov could even just withdraw. Right. And, and uh, <laughs> probably take the gold medal because Lou Dillon might bomb if he had to make a jump from 120 to 165. Right. I, I'm. I might do that if I were touched down off. Right, a power move. Yeah. Uh, a move actually, uh, Dan the Tech Man claimed to have pulled in a competition, uh, having made, <laughs> having an athlete make one attempt and then withdrawing him and forcing the next athletes to come out and take their attempts. They bombed. Yeah, I think so. Claim to fame. Yeah. That I think they call that the Dan Kent. I think they do. Yeah. Strategy. The only true weightlifting aficionado coaches will even attempt that move. Certainly the Uzbek team here, not quite at the heights to be able to pull that one off. So a five kilo jump here for Tosh Demarov, 154 to 159. And we have not heard Ludovin take another lift yet. <laughs> we would hear that bar come down. So. Bit out in front. Yep. He did tell us that he, uh, he said that he could snatch. He said he snatched 165 kilos actually this year in training. So we're only just shy of that. But of course, he probably had to cut a few kilos to make weight for this competition. It got a little bit forward. You can tell from that side angle, just off the floor there. I think that, that sounded like Lude Lin just made a lift in the back room. We can hear from outside of our headphones. So. I just hope that was at least 140 kilos that he had on the bar. I can't imagine what else it would be. I will say at one point during this competition, we saw him walk into the training hall, at which point that cued uh, me and Nick to walk oh. out of the training hall to just uh, record a two minute segment for the weightlifting house behind the scenes videos. When we walked back in, I think he had 190 kilos on the bar and he was doing clean pulls. He then took a jump to 230, did a couple of singles, and he was out the door two minutes so later. So. Here come the changes. We'll see what... Okay, so Lou has dropped to 161. Yeah, as we expected. Tush, yeah, Tosh going to go 160, it looks like. He may bump to 61 to try and gain a little more rest, but I don't see them near the scores table, so... I do... Um, we'll assume it's going to be this 160 here for... Now I just had another bar drop. Surely yeah. no one's cleaning. Maybe they are cleaning draft already. Yeah, they may Possibly. well be. Yeah, or it could be Lou Delin doing more warm-ups. No, he's not there. We could just see on the camera he wasn't in his spot. Not sure where he is. More excellent camera trickery there. Okay, Tosh Demirov now, 160 kilos. Trying to get back into the 160 club. He missed out on that at his last competition. He made it at the four prior. That 159 was a little bit out in front for him. He's got to be cautious not to try and sneak under the bar. He's got to finish the pole properly. was a way better attempt. Yep, so close, yep. so close. The pull was nicer, the turnover was nicer. But well, 154 kilos is still gonna be at least the silver medal in the snatch. It's currently gold. It's currently gold. We'll have to see what happens here. I do have fears with Lou Lin. He's an incredible snatcher. He snatched 180 kilos from the floor. He's snatched 190 kilos from the blocks, but we know that he's been struggling with injury. In fact, we sent a little set of interview questions over to him. He replied to just one question saying, always affected by injuries. So that's, that's all he was willing to share with us for this competition. Let's see, the man we've been waiting for. He does have a big pull. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> he looks relieved he's to have made that lift. He's a very expressive <laughs> athlete. <laughs> I 
his hair is looking perfectly coiffed for this yeah. competition. I'm wondering if that may even be the only snatch he takes no, here. No, come on. Surely he's going to put on a bit of a show for us. You know he wants 170 yeah. on the international he platform. 66-70 perhaps if we're lucky. Enormous lift if he makes it. He's very six, few seven done that. kilos now in the lead, which is substantial. But you know what? He's going to need it. He's not known it's, for his yeah. cleaner jerks. In fact, unlike the rest of the Chinese team, his squatting actually probably subpar with many of the other athletes in this category. We saw him squatting 130 kilos the other day. Sorry, 230 kilos the other day, <laughs> and. Uh, it wasn't fast. Yeah. It didn't look like he had anything more than 250 in him. Which is a weight that we know that other Chinese 81s can front squat. It's got to be a little relieved. I think the entire uh, week leading up to this and just in general, we s us seeing him in the training hall, not the most confidence-inspiring uh, performances back there. He's been snatching 150 regularly, but I think he did miss 160 yep. uh, in training a little bit. So he's asked for 65. I imagine that will get pushed to 66. Maybe not. Maybe he'll just go for the 65 and then he'll make a five kilo jump. He's the sort of athlete who is so capable. A four or five kilo jump sort of doesn't mean a huge amount to him. One day he actually turned up to the training hall. He power cleaned 60, power cleaned 100. Power cleaned 130, decided to jerk it, and then he left. And that was it. And that was the training session of Lou De Lin. He's going to take this 165. Yeah. He's turning into quite the character on the international scene. We may well see him stick around internationally because plenty of the other top 81s from China are either going up to the 89s or down to the 73s. So they do need someone to stick around in this category to try and become a world champion could be him. Here's 165 for Lu De Lin. Oh, maybe Strong. better than the first lift. Yeah, better. Surprising. Okay, now at this Seems point, fired up there. he just absolutely cannot open heavily on the clean and jerk. He cannot waste yeah. this lead. We saw it happen yesterday. Uh, Rizki was... Don't know, nine kilos ahead, I think, of anyone else in the snatch. 143 to 152. Then he decided to open last in the clean and jerk, and he bombed out. Yep. We've now got a huge lead here. 11 kilos over Toshdemirov in the snatch. So we know that Toshdemirov can't clean and jerk over 193 kilos, or at least he hasn't yet. So surely Ludin Lin's got to open with around the 180 kilo mark just to make sure that he gets in a total. Maybe he'll go even lighter to secure something else. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to call as much as 170 here. You would you would think so. He's got a bit of a lead, so risking it a little bit more for the extra five might really alleviate him in the clean and jerk, but, you know, another three wouldn't hurt either. They're bumping up again. It looks like we can see him changing. Yeah. Are we going to get the 170? Yeah, yeah we he's are. got 170. This is huge. Yeah. Yeah. He's also snatch. the sort of lifter where if he misses 168, he might as well miss 178. Right. You know, he pulls the bar so high. Okay, 170 kilos. This is an enormous lift. Pretty sure Lou De Lin will become now one of four weightlifters ever in this category to snatch this weight. Of course, in the previous 77 kilo category, there were a few more athletes who managed it because... I don't know if there were a few more. I think it maybe it was just three athletes in the 77s who made it. But Lu De Lin joins the ranks of Mohamed Ihab, Lu Jun, and Li Dayin if he makes this 170 kilo lift. He's got a bit of a personality on him there. He's uh, very expressive. At the World Championships, the heaviest snatch was 166 kilos. That's from Carlos Nassar. At the Olympic Games, the Heaviest snatch was an Olympic record. It was this same weight, 170 kilos by Lu Jun. Now Lu De Lin aims to join the group. Oh. <laughs> he had the pull, just couldn't fix it. Yeah, he had the pull, but just like in the 61 kilo category, that final attempt just got missed behind 
but he has a huge lead going into the clean and jerk to this point. And considering the fact that he said to us that he was suffering a bunch of different injuries over the last couple of weeks, which we weren't aware about uh, until we got here, actually, uh, that's actually a pretty decent turnout for yeah. Lude Lin. 165 kilos, that's going to be the gold medal in the snatch. 11 kilos behind him, we have Tosh Demirov from Uzbekistan. And the bronze medal actually snuck in by Rahmat Erwin Abdullah of Indonesia, the 2021 world champion in the lighter 73 kilo category. Yeah, definitely, I think, on the higher side of what we expected to see. We were really unsure. We had talked about his performance, what he potentially was going to do here, and it was definitely a big question mark based on the training we saw. You know, we saw a lot of, uh, a lot of kind of nothing workouts, <laughs> yeah. pulls and whatnot, and really light clean and jerks, and missing in that 160 range in the snatch, but uh, he looked great. To be in great shape there at the 165 is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. It will be interesting to see if he's selected for the world's team. Uh, when he's in shape, we know that he can snatch over 170 kilos at pretty much every competition, which will be enough to win the 81 kilo category snatch at a world championships level because if there ever was another 81 who could make it, they're not going to be in the 81s any time yep. uh, or at least anymore because it's not an Olympic category. So he might be able to just sit there and try and become a world champion over the next few years in that category. It's generally very difficult to be... Uh uh, victorious in the total with a really big snatch and a subpar clean and jerk or a lesser clean and jerk simply because you just can't add those extra kilos you need to take that third attempt for mm -hmm. the win you know especially if you're the one who's finishing the clean and jerk before uh, your competition starts they know exactly what to take you don't have the ability or the opportunity to push them and, and kind of go back and forth there so unless you've got a significant lead in the snatch it's much more challenging the other downside is that you can see Ludayin is already warming up in the clean and jerk. Yes. So you're the first one or the last one to snatch and then the first one to warm up in the clean and jerk. Uh, you know, you come out a little bit earlier, not necessarily in this session for him, but in general at the yeah. Worlds, he would definitely be much earlier in the clean and jerk, which is just that much harder. With that said, I think if he's going to be anything like he was in the snatch, he might not put anything on that bar for another 20, 30 minutes uh, and then just make some... Really impressive <laughs> jumps, true. 60, one, 100, I think, it w what was it yesterday? It was 60, 110, no, 70, 110, 140, 170, that's what it was. Red, blue, yellow, yellow. He may well follow that same progression, hit 170 in the back room, then come out for his opening attempt. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops down to the 180 kilo mark, just to try and, at the very least, that would be enough for a medal, and it might be enough for the gold medal if he makes that 180. Yeah. Depending on the kind of clean and jerk shape that Tosh Demerol is in. 11 kilo lead is uh, just a great spot to be in. Yeah, it really is impressive. We can see there 150 kilos uh, on the bar for Turayev. In Turkmenistan, he's going to be the first athlete out. He's put 165 kilos in. Power jerker. He's a... Uh, Probably got there pretty quick, Max. I guess maybe he'll wait now three and a half minutes, three minutes. He'll take 160, and then he'll probably come out three minutes after that with the 165. Here's Ludo then, touching the 20 kilo bar. He absolutely slams the bar down, as do basically all of the Chinese athletes that I've ever filmed. They have absolutely no... Um, no care for the for the barbell. You're a barbell manufacturer and have been at some point. I have Is been, there yeah. any potential negative uh, effect from doing that? I mean, I think we all know that the answer is yes. It's not exactly <laughs> the best way to treat the barbell, but I guess in the Chinese national team, they have enough resources that the added effort of lowering the 20 kilo bar is not greater than the, I don't know, I don't know. It's a bizarre thing that they do. The extra fatigue. Of yeah, the extra over. fatigue is, is greater than the damage to the barbells. So there's Rahmat being kept warm by his father and coach. 
I wonder, Max, what the Indonesian coaches have on their hands. You've mentioned this before, just as the athletes come out. They put their hand right up against the athlete's face and the yeah. athlete inhales, presumably some sort of ammonia substitute perhaps uh, that just gets the athlete focused. We've not seen a lot of smelling salts, so I wouldn't say at right. this competition. I don't think I've seen any uh, so far. No, compared to at the, where was it, European Championships. Yeah, a bit interesting. I wonder if it's uh, some kind of menthol uh, right. type ointment or something. It doesn't seem to be as powerful as, say, ammonia. I don't see them kind of wincing or reeling back when they smell it, so probably something mild. Well, we did actually see Rahmat with some uh, socks with cannabis leaves on them a few days ago in the training hall, so maybe he's inhaling something else just before he walks down to the platform. I haven't seen mi too many testers around, so... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. heading to Taco Bell after this, <laughs> is what you're saying. <laughs> there is a Shake Shack just around the corner in a TGI Fridays. Here's 140 kilos on the bar for the Kazakh lifter. He's put in 175 for his opener. This is his international debut, so he doesn't yet have a registered clean jerk on a major platform. Just over three and a half minutes now until we get back underway. Once again, Max, another... Pretty small category, only seven lifters in this one. It's pretty fast paced. 170, so definitely, sorry, 160. So Turayev, as we thought, waited those three minutes. He's made the 160. He's probably going to sit back now and wait until the competition begins, and he'll likely come out and be the first attempt in the clean and jerks. And actually, I wonder. For the first time in a session, every single opener was made. Has that happened yet? I don't know if we've seen that yet. In the last session, I noticed, other than Chen Wenhui, who bombed out due to injury, there was only one miss between all first and second attempts. Yeah, it was a very, very good session. A uh, smattering of failed third attempts, to be fair, but a lot of... <laughs> Missed second attempts, made third attempts in this category as well. Four athletes missed their second attempt and then either retook the weight or even went up and made them. In fact, there was not a single lifter here who missed their second attempt who then missed their third attempt, which is something you really don't see very often in a weightlifting competition. Yeah, this has been a pretty solid competition all across the board. We're seeing a lot of good quality lifting. Uh, a lot of lifters really relatively close as far as their attempts. So two things to note. One is that Ludo Lin's at 100. The second thing is that Turayev's now taking 165. I imagine Turayev's probably going to open above 170. Yeah. Like m The assumption would be that he's opening above 170, potentially, uh, well, we know Ramat might just actually open <laughs> way above that. He bumped 10 kilos on his snatch. Potentially a... Maybe just not a good timing there with the last warm-up. Yeah, I think potentially so. You can see that 171 in there by Rahmat. But still says to arrive at 165, but he just hit down the back room. So as Max said, he'll probably bump that up, try and cause a little bit of confusion, a little bit of stress. I think 140 was just on the bar there for Rahmat. So maybe suddenly he's realizing, I need to get a move on. I think to arrive might not be opening up there. Yeah, very true. In fact, they're just switching out now 160 160 actually that, that wasn't I thought that was Rahmat's platform but it's not that's uh, Trang Sheng Min actually back there well, you know when you look at this scoreboard it, we have everybody here in that 170 to 180 range yep. the exception of the Lou and so you've got a very close battle a few changes in weight and suddenly you're moving from three five six attempts out to you're the next lifter. So what's Rahmat taking here? We have just 40 seconds now until the clean and jerks are underway. What's on the bar? 90 kilos for Rahmat. Presumably... Doing some light power cleans there. He's already hit a top single of 160, 170, and now he's just dropped to 90 to keep warm surely he's not still at 90 yeah I'm wondering if he warmed up a little bit preemptively a little too quickly 
This is a very interesting... Yeah, I'm excited to see. I have almost no oh, idea nice. as to who's about to come out. It still says... We're underway now. It still says to arrive at 165. But I don't think he's going to come out with 165. He just hit it in the back room. Let's see what's about 170 to happen. is now on the bar. Okay, so Tarayev's got up at least five. Yeah, so Tarayev moved to 70. He's not really in direct competition with Rathmat, so though yeah. he could ask for 172 and try and spook the Indonesians into raising again and potentially bombing out. There's no real need for him to do that. So 170. Oh, no, yep, he has gone up. He's done, yeah, he's done just that, 172, <laughs> he's asked for, which is going to bring out Rahmat. Now, we just saw less than a minute ago, Rahmat did 90 kilos. There goes in a change from Indonesia. We just saw the coach. Yeah, he did what he did in the snatches. 10 kilos up yep. now to 181. Back to Tarayev. He was prepared for that. I probably had almost the perfect amount of rest there. You know, a very odd uh, approach to attempt selection because he could have just put 172 in and warmed up to that. Right. Yeah, instead he's made a 160 to 165 jump to a 172 jump. It's a little bit odd. It gives the coaches something to fill out. This is Max, one kilo over his international record. Pretty good clean. Very strong. He is a power jacker. Ooh. Oh, took him down a little bit more than maybe he'd have he was comfortable with there. Yeah, just drifted forward a little bit, but he made the adjustment. Got back under the bar nicely. And he's a bit of a, a game time athlete. He told us that his best lifting and training coming into this 135 kilo snatch, which he. Uh, handily beat with 142. And then he said his best lift was a 171 kilo jerk. Presumably that's a clean and jerk. Uh, just shortened down. So already he's out lifting anything that he's made in training in 2022. No injuries to worry about. He says he simply complies with whatever his coach says. And the training's going very well in 2022. Getting more changes here oh, as well. Oh, he said he was a 73 when he made those lifts in training. Ah. That makes more sense. He's now up at 81, of course. I'd love to know what Lou De Lin's on in the back room. We did see him with 100 kilos loaded. A little bit earlier than I would have expected. Back to Turayev. 76. He's smelling some kind of ammonia, I think. Yeah. Absolute carnage in the back room right now. One attempt down, but a lot of changes going in. Now we're up again, 177. That's going to bring out Ogabek from Uzbekistan. That's going to equal his personal best, but we know he's in good shape. The nine kilo personal best in the snatch. This 177, hopefully not going to pose too much of an issue for him. He goes up, that brings back out Turayev. A lot of moving around here. We've got four athletes all opening at 180 or 181. Yeah. And no doubt they're all going to move, so they're all going to have to be basically ready to go, but also ready to wait another four minutes. Not an easy position to be in as an athlete or coach in the back room. As a coach, you, well, as an athlete, you just want to sit back and do whatever your coach tells you, but as a coach right now, Probably feeling a little bit anxious about what the next few minutes are going to hold. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is be taking an attempt at the wrong moment. Way too late. Right. 177 now for Triv. Very fast under the bar. Great speed. It's not going to be easy to jerk this. Wow. That's brilliant stuff. Beautiful squat jerk. He got way under that. 
He even hopped forward a little bit yeah, and we're yeah. just so athletic to be able to get under that bar like that. Horizontal movement is even harder to save in a squat jerk than it is a split jerk, so that really is impressive. Also impressive is the fact that at the 160 and 65 and 72, he didn't make any, well, he didn't squat jerk at all. So the fact that he's just suddenly gone down into full depth there is pretty remarkable. Also, Max, I think we can assume now that that 90 kilo clean and jerk, power clean and jerk that we saw from Rathmat in the back room probably was him building up for the first time. Yeah. He knows he's got a long wait now. He's going to go up over all these other athletes. 178 now is a kilo over Ogerbeck's best in competition. Three for three in the snatch, the only athlete to do it. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how his lockout looks in the jerk. It was slightly bent arms structurally in the snatch. Strong clean. Classic Uzbekistan. Oh. Yeah, I had a, had a feeling he was going to yeah. do that. Similar arm structure, yep. elbow structure to uh, Kazak Lifter we saw a few days ago yep. who did uh, the same power jerk. Anatoly. Yep. I don't know what it is about that slight arm bend and the wider grip. You just sort of feel like you know they're about to do a power jerk. Lude Lin's coming out. 179. He's just dropped down 11 kilos. This is going to put him in uh, pretty good stead if he makes it. So this is the big question. We've wondered what his clean and drip will be. He's obviously shown his hand here, dropping down quite a bit. Yeah. He does have that 11 kilo lead, so this is actually not a bad move. No. It's pretty smart for him to get on the board here. It's going to force at least 191 from Tashdemirov to yeah. overtake him again. And we know that, you know, Ludelin is not a uh, clean and jerk specialist. He's been undergoing various injuries as well. So right now, this is probably a good move from Team China. Pretty good clean. Let's hope he can make this. Oh, there we go. Kind of rushed to that jerk, but he's there. <laughs> Number one, it says on his calf. A tattoo which hopefully won't come back to bite him today. <laughs> Certainly not the kind of thing he can wear with too much pride when he's walking around a lot of these other athletes in Team China. But he's got the confidence. Yeah. We like to see that. Number one, I think there's an asterisk there. And then on the <laughs> ankle of his right leg, it actually says from blocks in snatch. <laughs> well, you can always change that to number two. Right. Or even just add another uh, Roman numeral and have number, 11. Uh, yeah, number 11. Number 11. Yep. So he's been very smart with that attempt. He's yep. now got a very big lead. He's got a total. He's the man to beat. In fact, I, I would probably say that's the most... That's the most tactical move we've seen from the Chinese team this entire championship. Agreed. I hope now he doesn't sit back and wait until taking the final attempts. I'd like to see him get back in there with a, a 184 or 185, something that would require to Stemmerov yeah. to take a personal record attempt in the high 90s, something that he's probably not able to do. Yeah, he probably has no uh, aspirations for a gold in the clean and trick here, no. as long as he can win. If he can give it a go on a third attempt, I'm sure he will, but... Most important is the gold in the total. He's the first of three athletes now to open at 180. It's Chuang Sheng Min from Taipei. 13 kilos over. Sorry, three kilos over what we've seen from him in the past. <laughs> That's a heavy looking clean yeah. there, Max. Yeah, he brought that bar all the way to his hips. And it looks like he just kicked it forward pretty bad from there. Well, now you've got to hope that that was just a timing issue in the catch. It looked like it might have been a strength issue. Yeah. Which if it was, he could be in trouble here if all these athletes jump up to 181. Well, they've got people moving. I think this clock is going to dry up on him. Looks like he's going up. Taipei just put in a change. What to? Maybe not. Nothing's come through yet. So Renat from Kazakhstan. He's going to make his first international clean and jerk here at 180 kilos. Snatched 146. Yeah. 
Now this max is the weight that he told us he made for one clean and two jerks in training. Can he make it for a one plus one? I think maybe just about. Just a little bit forward, but he had it. He smiled about halfway through. One of three athletes so far to not split jerk in this session. If we just see one other athlete do that, which I don't think we will because we know that Tosh Demirov and Rahmat and split jerk because we'd have an over 50% power jerk slash squat jerk session. I wonder if we're going to see Tosh Demirov also be a little bit safer with his opening attempt. Open up with this 183 that he's put in. Just again, it's going to probably guarantee him a medal in the total if he makes it. Yeah, could be a very smart move. You know, when you've got that sort of obvious leader here, front runner, and he's got a total, yeah. it really makes it important to just build the total you can, get the medals you can along the way, and take a shot at that gold only when it's right. Yeah, he's only three kilos above Rahmat, who we're going to see come out after this attempt for his opener. So he definitely wants to get a cleaner jack in soon just to stay safe ahead of the Indonesian. Trang Xiang Min, also someone who we thought was going to be fighting for a medal in the total, but he's going to have to make this. He missed it on his opener. It's a slightly better pull, but it's not yeah. easy. The athletes from Taipei have tremendous jerks. That one, not quite <laughs> good enough. No All right, it's do or die for Trang Shen Min. Miss, miss, one attempt remains. Yeah, it looks like he just picked too heavy a weight. That first clean was, was quite challenging. The second one was better. He got more extension, opened up his hips all the way and made the clean, but it certainly was not easy. We have a lot of moving around here. This looks like the Turkmenistan coach making a change. I wonder if he's going to bump to 181 and steal the two-minute clock off Trang Sheng Min. Well, if he was going to, I think... He has. Yeah, he's just done it. Turkmenistan yeah. just bumped to 81. So Trang Sheng Min now, one minute on the clock. Wow. Is he going to come in and make a change? He's probably going to bump to 81. I think they're going to want to give him some time. Looks like he's coming out. Here he is. We'll see if that's good. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> don't think it strategy. is. <laughs> I, I think it's bad, actually. Yeah, I don't not. think this is going to be the right move. But you never know. Stranger things has happened. He missed the clean on the first attempt, made it on the second. Maybe he's going to turn that jerk into a, a make. Chang Sheng Min opened at 180. It was already a gutsy opener, three kilos over his international best. He missed it on the second again. If he makes this, he might actually manage to get a medal in the total. The big 150 snatch. So Snuck under that clean. Somehow stayed back on his heels. And after, oh, he's okay. Came oh. down on the back of his head, but he moved out of the way just in time. That's a bomb yeah. out for Trang Sheng Min. <laughs> it's a tough day for Taipei. Two athletes, two bomb outs. It's not the day that they'd hoped for. So does Rathmat come out? Does he bump up another 10? <laughs> Yeah, well, he made a bit of a habit of that. A big surprise if he moves over 181 yeah, here. I think he'll come out now. He's uh, in a situation where only two athletes outsnatched him, and the one athlete who was a kilo behind him in the snatch just bombed out. So this lift might secure a medal for him in the total. Certainly not secure. Ogabek could come out and make more. We could see uh, Renat do the same. Tosh Demer, of course, hasn't even opened yet. But we know that this guy can clean and jerk. He is incredible uh, when he's not undergoing any injuries. Of course, we know that he's coming back from a bit of a back issue right now. But as a 73 kilo lifter, Max, he clean and jerked 192 kilos. That was at the World Championship. Yeah. So 
I don't imagine this is going to pose much of a, a problem in terms of strength. It's just going to be how comfortable he feels yep. putting his body on the line. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he even takes very many more clean and jerks after this. Right. He he's might. been conservative and he knows he's injured, so he's being smart. Yes. No need to fight for something that's not worth chasing. Smooth clean. It's very, very easy. Wow. It's that very, very easy. So light. Gosh. So strong. Looking for the judges. He looks to be okay. Yeah, he looks to be absolutely fine. That was that was remarkably easy. Yeah, he uh, looked for like any that. 81. No one's made it look like that yet. I don't think anyone here can make it look like that. It's a shame that he's not in in full health to be able to push up towards the 200 kilo range. You know, he's 12 kilos behind Wu Dayen, and uh, he's got 191 now, entered as a second. Okay. Is he going to try and close that gap? Well, he likes these 10 kilo jumps, and he likes numbers that end in a one. <laughs> Every number so far has been a palindrome for Rahmat. It's an aesthetic thing <laughs> for him. Joining the palindrome club now is Taraya with 181. Oh. Get Rock back. Yeah. Well, you know, he's been sat there for a little bit of a while. Yeah, Tarayev and uh, Sheng Min both have similar styles in their clean. They don't get a lot of, uh, they don't have a very big pull. No. The bar gets right to their hips, and they are just instantly under at great speed. Yeah. He really, really confident, but yeah. uh, they don't have that power. And so that's it for Turayev. He had to wait seven attempts in between second and third there with three of them misses. So he had a good 10 minute wait. Just a little bit too long. This is a big lift now. Tosh Demirov is going to come out with this 183. It's not going to be enough to move ahead of Lou Delin, but it is enough to move into the silver medal position behind Lou Delin. I put him up at 237 in the total. It's five kilos above Rahmat. And let's see if this moves as easy as the 181 did from Rahmat. It is 12 kilos. Uh, 10 kilos below his best. Very solid clean. Technically really sharp. Oh, oh wow. He did power jerk. Almost an effortless power jerk. That Four was beautiful. out of seven athletes in this category not split jerking. I don't think I've ever seen that in a competition yeah. before. Have so many power slash sport jerkers. Here comes Lou De Lin. Lou De Lin. Smart move. Yeah. Smart move. One, eight, three. It's going to move up his total to three, four, eight. Twelve kilos ahead of... Where Tosh Demirov is, that's going to force a 196 from Tosh Demirov, which would be a personal record for him. Team China definitely playing at smart hit. Good to see them not leave their athlete to take the final lift. We've seen that cause some problems at this championships. As expected, the pool's not the problem. Neither's a jerk on this occasion. Yeah, very solid lift. That four kilo jump, for that. really smart. You can see there some of Team China in the crowd. <laughs> Long Zhui, Yuling Long, Peng Kui Ting, who's going to be competing tomorrow. Max, we saw Peng Kui Ting doing some snatch pulls in training yesterday at 125 kilos. That's the world record that she's hit in competition nationally. So I think she sort of, she was letting us know World record might be on the cards tomorrow. Interesting. Yeah. A unique, unique pull she has. Yes, very neat. To new. say the least. Very slow around the knees. Extremely explosive. He was coming up off the floor completely. Yeah. In the beginning. High pull on toes. Here's the fifth attempt now for Ogabek. He's sort of sneaking under the radar here a bit, Max. He's made four lifts out of four lifts. This here is going to bump him up to 329 kilos. Which isn't yet going to be enough for a medal in the total. Pretty long.
long wait between the first and second attempts. Yeah, very long time. Very fast pull. Very easy power jerk yeah, as well. Yeah, that's a tremendous power jerk. About as strong and comfortable as they come. You know, we've seen probably some of the most successful power jerks in this session that we've seen maybe the entire competition. Right. And again, uh, very few misses in this session in the uh, cleaner jerks. Nine made lifts, four misses. It's not bad. It looks good for 178. Something like that, if he needs it. And I imagine he will go for it, because 178 will put him a kilo ahead of Rathmat, move him into the bronze position. Lude Lin's got 186 in. Surely that's going to gonna bump that become up. Become him. They're changing, I think. Going to move Lude in up. Yeah, I think that's the change we're going in right now. What two, I don't know. It's a tough one. Does he just decide to go for something in the high 80s and just assume that Tostemirov can't make a high 90? Oh, Does he like wait it out? I don't know. Is Renat's going to come out for 187, I think, to try and improve on Ramat's total here, which is 332. So this is going to move ahead of Rahmat by a kilo. Things are getting quite exciting here. Now, was Reyna a power jerker, squat jerker? Or was no, he one of the few splits? I believe he's a split jerker. Yeah. He looks like a split jerker. Yeah. 187 kilos. Still less weight than Luna Lin has snatched off blocks, <laughs> unbelievably. <laughs> Not the easiest clean. clean, but technically it is very nice. Wow, he is a power jerker. Can he stop <laughs> it? <laughs> Save. Yeah, those long arms, wow. the center of mass is so high, but he's able to stop the bar from going really? behind him. So the, that was a solid attempt. Yeah, that puts him up at 333 kilos. He moves a kilo ahead of Rahmat oh, and Abdullah of Indonesia. Rahmat's going to need to take this... Uh, well, whether he goes for 191 or drops down, I don't know. Lude Lin just bumped up again by another kilo, 288, to bring out Ogerbeck. Ogerbeck now, is he going to take this or is he going to bump up to try and get ahead of Reynat? What's yep, he going to need? Moving up. He's yeah. going to need 189. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Definitely a real battle here for the bronze medal. Oh, Lude Lin is coming out, 188. I think this is a smart move, yeah. Max. Another five kilos that puts him at 353. Agreed. I'm going to be way ahead of Tostemirov at this point. So this will force Tostemirov to make 200 kilos. It's a tough clean, but it's nice. Oh, Strong fantastic jerk. Wow. Jerk. That is impressive lifting. It's Considering what we saw in the training hall yeah. leading up to this was yeah. not, this is not the performance we expected. Yeah, he's turned it on. He's yeah. happy. <laughs> Little smirk and just kind of strolling <laughs> off there. He knows he's in the lead. He knows he's the man to beat. Yeah, nothing actually even that bad. He oh. was a little bit slow on the recovery, but nothing about that lift would lead yeah. me to believe he was not stronger for more. He's still a young athlete, you yeah. know, and strength takes a long time to develop. It takes a lot longer to develop than, than technique and, and speed, certainly. So he's got a few years. He can continue increasing his pulling strength and his squatting strength. We may well see him make that official A-team, and who knows? By the time we get to uh, Los Angeles 2028, he may be on that Olympic team. Okay, 189 kilos here. This is... A big deal for Ogerbeck. It's a 12 kilo personal record, but most importantly, it moves him up five kilos to 334 kilos. 
ahead of Rahma and Renat into the bronze medal position. He's got a pretty solid power jerk as well. Ten seconds. He glances at the clock. Again, very oh. fast pull. It's a tough oh. clean. He's got a strong power jerk. Wow. Oh my word. What a lift. What a lift. Almost never seen anyone pull off something like that. Normally when the clean is that hard, the squat jerk is just not there. But that, I mean, looks like he can squat jerk more than he can clean. Yeah, for sure. That was rock solid. Fantastic lifting there. No fear, just confident. He went right for it. Look at this. Just attacked it, and it was uh -huh. no problem. Ergashev jumping up and down in the back. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> that makes this lift even more important. Uh, Rahmat's going to have to make this 191 if he wants to move back into the lead. Sorry, not into the lead, into the uh, silver. Silver. In fact, yeah, this is going to move him ahead of of Tosh Demirov as well. Yeah, this is a big lift. Yeah. His 181 was not challenging at all. Not a challenge at all. But he does have a bit of an injury, so. There's a certain level of confidence with Rahmat right now. He's the world champion in the 73s. He sort of knows that he's not going to push anything too hard today because he doesn't want to re-injure his back. But 191, getting up there. So smooth, Max. Just uh, right into the jerk. Holy cow. You have to say, if he decides to stick around at 81 for the rest of this quad, which would almost be a shame not to see him in the Olympics, but if he does, yeah. in shape and healthy, he's going to be going over 200 kilos. We'll, we'll see what they put in for his third, if he's going to take it. So slow in the pull, and then the stand in the clean, it's just... Yeah, absolute confidence in that jerk, too. He didn't wait more than one second. No, no. He's ready to go. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. We've got 191 kilos loaded for Renat. He's going to have to now decide whether he goes up, because that lift was going to be enough to, uh, to move up ahead of Tosh Demirov, but it's not anymore. He needs 192, but he's not going to take it. He's going to take 191. It's an interesting call here. It is an interesting call. It's a shame we're not going to see him go for it, although I have to say, Max, the jerk from Renat on his last attempt was not the most uh, confidence-inspiring for this one, though he did make it. Yeah, a bit of stumbling there. 20 seconds on the clock. Can't take too long now. 15. Glance at the clock, he's got five seconds. He likes that piece. Ah, yeah. yeah, he couldn't get himself under. Yeah. He think. didn't time out, he just, that's a heavy, heavy lift. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to make that yeah. start. Uh, so I've got to say, this was his international debut. Almost every lift made in the clean injury. So this is yep. very impressive. Only one bomb out, yep. and then two misses so far. This is extraordinary. Yeah, it's very impressive stuff. This is an important lift here for Tosh Demirov. He is guaranteed now the bronze medal. If he makes this, he's going to move up into the silver medal position, but this is not an assured thing. His best ever clean and jerk is 193 kilos. He's not in his best, well, he didn't snatch near his best, so I can only assume he's not in the best shape for his clean and jerk. This is a huge attempt for him. That's a very, very clean. nice clean. Jerk is very snappy too. It's very solid here. Wow. That's a phenomenal wow. squat jerk. 192. I mean, textbook squat jerk. More than half the athletes are squat jerking. And most of the lifts are made. And the athlete who isn't a squat jerker bombed out. Right. So 
Maybe we all need to start changing our opinions on the sport chart. Maybe they know something that we don't know. Okay, there's only two attempts remaining now in the uh, clean and jerk. One from Tosh Demirov. He's now just going to take an attempt at the gold medal, presumably. Also, Rahmat, who's going to take an attempt for the lead. 198. That's going to. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 198 is going to give him another 7 kilos, which puts him at 349. I don't know why he's going to go for 349. It's our lift to go for, but I he's guess going to go for it. It'll put him in second, right? But why not just take, you know, 195? Yeah. I mean, potentially uh, they think that Tosh Demirov mm -hmm. maybe is capable of more. This is the biggest they know they can take, try and push him as far as possible. Well, Tosh Demirov is going to go for 200. Yeah. Because that's going to give him the gold medal over Lude Lin, who is probably sitting there rather anxiously in the back room. Although anxious doesn't seem like the type of adjective to really describe Lude Lin with. He seems like <laughs> a very relaxed kind of guy. Yeah. Okay. These are some big lifts, Max. This is definitely the highest caliber of weightlifting we've seen on the men's side at this yeah. championships. Let's see what he can do. For an athlete who told us he was 50-50 about whether he'd even compete, and this that was two days ago he told us that. He's uh, surprising us all here. Very slow. It's a gorgeous turnover. Wow. This is a guy who can break a world record one day. Man, that's absolutely incredible. 198 kilos <laughs> like nothing. Oh, my word. He's going to take his time. Here comes the pose. Wow. He did it at the World Championships. Here comes the gun show. Absolutely phenomenal lifting from Tosh Demirov. They're He's telling being him to get off, off the platform. The platform. There is another They're athlete upset. who wants to come and lift. He doesn't care. Three, four, nine. He moves into the silver medal position. Now, Max, does Tosh Demirov take this to reclaim the silver, or does he bump a kilo to 200 to just go for the gold? Well, you know, so I'm wondering, uh, that 198 might have been the attempt they needed to give to convince Tosh Demirov to, to take the bigger go. lift. Right, right. Right, give yeah. him permission to miss. It's actually very clever, yeah. We'll if, see. If he'd have gone for, say, 195, Tosh nice. Demirov might Take have said... 99. He's going for 199. Okay. Let's just recalculate this. Seven kilos up. That's going to put him at 353. It's going to equal Lude Lin. So this lift is going to equal the winning total. If he'd have gone up one more kilo to 200, yeah, he'd be a, going for the gold. What a strange attempt. Very odd. Let's see how he does. Not today, which means that Team China are going to walk away with another gold. But, Max, I have to say, it's Rahma Owen Abdullah who's really impressed me at this competition. Wow. Uh, Lude Lin, of course, did beat him by four kilos in the total. But both of these two athletes, we know, are not in their best shape. Yeah. Rahma Owen Abdullah had a little bit of a back injury. He even passed up on his third attempt uh, snatch. I would say his... His 151 snatch looked like less than he would open with in full health. Yeah. And his 191 clean and jerk second attempt looked like maybe even less than an opener at full health. That 198 was a second attempt at most. Yeah, he looks good for a many, many more kilos. Yeah, this man is strong. We spoke to him actually uh, in the training hall. He told us that he'd front squatted 220 kilos this year, back squatted just 230 kilos. You would not know that based on how easy that 198 was, surely he doesn't push his squats to maximum max because that clean was a joke. Yeah. Tremendous strength. And uh, quite the gun show at the end there. Yes. Yep, he did it in 2021. He's done it again in 2022. No doubt he'll do it at the World Championships in December. The gold medal in the men's 81 kilo category is going to go to the well-played attempt selection of the Chinese, Lu De Lin, 165, 188. It pays in this case to, to snatch. Normally they say snatch for show, jerk for dough, but in this case it's snatch for the win, clean and jerk to stay in. <laughs> the silver like medal. Like Lu De Lin. Yes, like Du De Lin. 
an incredible squat trick there. That was uh, fantastic from the Uzbek. Yeah. Uh, Uzbekistan done very well in this session. The silver medal to Rahmat Owen Abdullah, 349, 151, 198. He took five attempts. He made them all. The bronze medal to Tosh, Me Tosh Demirov of Uzbekistan, 154, a little bit down in the snatch. He's normally over 160. And then 192. He took a valiant attempt at the 99, but couldn't get up with it. But that 192 squat jump, Max, very, very good lift from Tosh Demirov. And there we have the gun show from Rahmat. There's his father on the right, clapping. He's a man who struck a few gun shows himself. Yes. Uh, pretty jacked coach there. Uh, the runner-up also from Uzbekistan, who actually managed to sneak a medal in the clean and jerk brilliantly at 189. It's Ogabek from Uzbekistan behind him, Reina from Kazakhstan. Max, that session had absolutely everything in it. We had a runaway in the snatch. We had exceptional clean and jerk, and we had a shot for it all at the end. Uh, really fantastic lifting from this men's 81 kilo category. The category certainly is not dead, despite having lost its Olympic status. That's going to be it from us, from the men's 81 kilo category. Uh, tomorrow, we have... The men's 89s will be the first session of the day. Plenty of tremendous athletes going to be competing in that session. We have another Uzbek turning up to compete. Zafarjanov, who's been in 360 kilos. Probably the most competitive category we've seen. Out of the seven athletes, we have four of them put in 360 kilos. The other two at 350. So expect to see some plus 200 kilo lifts. Hopefully some plus 170 kilo snatches. We also then have the women's 76s where I think we might just see a world record attempt. It's going to be a runaway win, I think, from the Chinese athlete Peng Kui Ting, 125 incoming. We're going to keep this live stream going so that you can watch the men's 81s on the uh, medals. Uh, but from me, Max, and everyone else here at Weightlifting House, we will see you all tomorrow.